It's the first time in a while that I've, that I've actually recorded myself coming back from, well, that I've actually recorded myself and I'm not at the boss yet. First time in a while. Because I remembered that I was at the boss battle before, like every single time, even battling ultimate, like optional bosses. But in the but in the first time in a while, I'm now fighting before the boss, but I'm still going to fight the boss, and it's probably going to take like forty minutes. But the adventure is going to take so long because I'm going to be grinding for coins. So. I am flying in the airship. That's what happened the last part is that I got sent in the nightmare by Krex and fought two enemies before him, two raids of them, and five nightmare zombies. Now I got four, and I'm going this way. If I got nightmare creepers, which I actually... I don't know why I fought z Nightmare Zombies when I would have just fought z Nightmare Creepers, so I'm going to make a clause, and if I roll an 8 or lower, fight the Nightmare Creepers or Nightmare Bombers. 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to fight the enemy, so that's why I'm hoping to get... I get enough roll for that. One, two, three, four. Please don't give me any doubles. Because then I would be very scared. Seven. So I'm fighting the nightmare bombers. Because I skipped them and I rolled a nine and I somehow thought that that would have been nightmare zombies. So I know where I am so I don't have to mark it. So I'm I'm fighting four nightmare bombers, and the nightmare bombers have thirty health. So that's why I'm fighting four of them. Even though that would lead to the question of why I, uh, that would still lead to the question of why. And if you guys don't remember from last part, you would also be asking why I'm only using Druko and Tim because the black dice are always Druko and the yellow dice are always Tim and the red dice are always Brave. And it's because Brave did not get sent into Nightmare with Druko and Tim in the book, so I was going by book. So now I'm fighting four Nightmare Bombers, which is better than saying Nightmare Creepers because it's partially copyrighted. Uh, got an idea. That is going to be pretty crazy. For one thing, I'm on a scoots. I'm doing like a parallelogram. You guys can't see that, can you? You can't. Well, that's a problem. I'm gonna do this instead. I'm doing this. And then pink dice right here. Funny that I'm doing 20 dice. So actually, right here. Because I'm also putting the enemy. I got another idea. I'm gonna make a trapezoid. Of enemies. I know it takes so long preparing the enemy's health. I already said my conclusion on the end of the video. I had more than three pink dice. There they are. I had exactly five. So. 
They had no defense, right? They had no defense. And then this and really. I guess I'm using I guess I'm using it like this and that was not what I was planning. So I'll use it in a silly order. So Nightmare Bombers. And if I roll I think it was a five. Yeah, if I roll only a five, I, then the enemies use explosion, which I would say nightmare explosion. So I'm going to use hammer tail, like always, and then I'm going to, I'm still going to just, those hacks are five but if they use explosion then they then it hits everyone and it does 10 damage i'm hoping i don't get a five four times because that would be in mean an instant game over that would be very unlucky if i get that rare chance so hammer tail and normal attack hammer tail was first yeah i'm gonna do hammer tail six and it does 12. <clears throat> now, what is the normal attack going to be? 7. <clears throat> now, I'm going to roll the die four times and see what each of the bombers will get. 3. No so that's a normal tackle. Five, explosion. So that was tackle, explosion, tackle, explosion. And if they explode, they, you don't get their currency. <laughs> And also, if they explode, they deal. They deal six damage to to the bombers. But I still get the currency if I already deal damage to the bomber. So at least I get a hundred. But I still want to just go farming. So. Now I'm just going to. I'm going to use hammer tail again. No, I'm going to use a normal attack. Normal attack. So that was a double one. Six. I hope it doesn't explode. Six. I didn't even let the enemy use tackle. I actually didn't even do... Didn't even count the damage. So they did 30 damage. I just made a mistake, dang it. I think I might have gotten myself a game over. I need to be lucky and not roll a five. Uh, because if I roll a five, I get an instant game over. Thank goodness. Six. Uh, I was letting an attack to go anyway. <laughs> Because they really do have only one health and only five health left. So, currency wise, I only have a hundred coins. Actually, so far I didn't. It doesn't matter. 
five. Yeah, I beat him. Doesn't matter what I roll here. So, next battle, I'm going to, which I'm hoping I still don't get, roll another double. Like, a double one, three, or five. Because then it's a guaranteed instant game over. So, I am hoping to roll a one. Or a three will work as well. One, two, three. That was probably a mistake, but oh well. We'll see. I got an instant game over. Double one. I was hoping I wouldn't get a double one. I got an instant game over. But even though I got an instant game over, I still keep the gold. The boss... The boss... The, the enemy that I got was Nightmare... Mist, which is Nightmare Behind the Mist, but the, nobody can see him. So I just got an instant game over. Doesn't even matter what I get. Double six. Does nothing. Does nothing. Annihilation. <sighs> game over. So... I'm going to start over at the progress I I was I have last made, which was at that scene. But the good thing is I still keep the currency. That is stupid. What were the chances that I get freaking double ones, double threes, or double fives? I hope I don't get it again because then I'm going to be very mad. So how much health? Well, current progress I had, I had, I'm just going to say that Druko and Tim now have 30 health, or no, I know how much health they had. Druko had 36 and Tim had 35. Or maybe it was 29 and 30, but I'm still going to do it that way. Don't give me a stupid double again. Because I would know for a fact I got one. That I would have an instant game over again. I'm going to be very mad. Six. One, two, three. Darn it. Four, five, six. I messed up. Four. No, I won't mess up. One, two, three, four. All right. Please don't give me a double this time. Eight. I get to fight nightmare zombies, which I which is better than the nightmare bombers. Even though I still have to. And I'm also going to bring Druko's... No, Druko's SP is fine. I, it was on 24 before because I didn't use any attacks. No, I used attacks. I'm going to put it back up to 28. I guess that's what it was on before. So I'm fighting... Five Nightmare Zombies... So five Nightmare Zombies, four Bombers, and Nightmare Mist are the possible options to get. Nightmare Mist is an instant game over, which is very enraging. And... Hmm. 
then... Okay, I'm not gonna have enough room for five if I do it this way. Um... Oh wait, 20. What was I thinking? Was it four? I swear it was five. It was five. I was getting messed with. Because I somehow thought I was supposed to fight four because of the dice, but I was wrong. So, I'm going to use Hammer Tail. At least now I won't have to grind. I forgot to give myself the earning gold. I'm just going to say 2030 because I'm going to earn a hundred gold from the Nightmare Zombies anyways. Four, 24. Hammer tail. And then letting Tim just use a normal attack. Tim didn't roost this turn. Which was my mistake. Double three. So I'm letting Tim use his normal attack. Eight. <laughs> now, hammer tail. Oh, that's terrible. Double one. I'm going to use my last dice roll clause. I was going to use it on the final chapter, but I'm using it here. I was hoping I would use it at the final chapter. No, that's better. Seven. So it's seven times two. <laughs> Flailing Tackle. So, yeah, I was looking at the attacks, so I did 12 each. So now I'm going to use Roost on Tim's turn and use it on Tim himself. And use Hammer Tail for Druko's turn. So, Druko has 54 health, and Tim still has 23 health. I'm going to do this. And then Hammer Tail. Nine. Very close to killing the Nightmare Zombie. <laughs> I, ju I just use... Well, I'll, I'll count it. I said Roost on Tim and I roosted Druko instead. But whatever. Ah, uh, there it is. Flailing Tackle. Actually, this one uses Leech. So, six, 
and then one, two, three. Now I'm using Roost again on Tim himself this time. So instead of the healing orb healing everyone at the end of chapter 19, I'm going to let it have two uses, which I'm going to use it at the shop and at the end of the chapter. Only making that clause in normal difficulty. Hard difficulty, I have no clause at all. So, now I'm going to use Beam of Destruction, just because I can't help it anymore, and let Tim use Roost on himself, which is what I've already done. So now Tim has 44 health. Thirty, thirty-six, forty-one. No, yeah, he has forty-four. So there. 44 health, and then using Ultimate Beam of Destruction, so re-roll these two, one, okay, good. So I did exactly 20. <gasps> and then and then that's it. Flailing tackle. And then this one uses leech. First, I'm doing one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then because that's what it does when it leeches, it steals the health away. And now I'm using Hammer Tail and Normal attack. Eleven, twenty-two, <laughs> and then Tim uses a normal attack. Three. I knew it was gonna be a low roll. Flailing Tackle and Leech. One, two, three. And then just remove the six. And then do this. Now I use. Okay. Hammer tail one more time. That's my position. Hammer tail one more time. Three. Again. I'm going to use... I'm just going to use a normal attack. I keep getting a three, which is so stupid. Give me something higher. That's not higher. Double two. 
which is four, but still, I'm going to use hammer tail on this one then. <gasps> Flailing tackle. <sighs> now I'm using just a normal attack because of Druko in Braves. I mean, Druko and Tim's. Quit giving me such low rolls. This is just like the Ridley fight. It's so annoying. <laughs> and then Tim's turn. At least I get a double one so I can roll one more die. There, thank you. That is so dumb. <laughs> and then five and four. Leech. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I I just realized that I forgot that I already roosted Druko. It wouldn't have mattered anyways because I got an instant game over, but I already roosted Druko one time before the cutscene. And it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Because I got an instant game over anyways, and that was pretty much while I was on the airship or something. Or no, I don't remember when it was, but it didn't matter anymore. It doesn't really matter anymore. So, now I'm using normal Texas again. Please, for the freaking... I don't even want to say it. Come on! I hate this. I hate my luck right now. Seven. I know I've just get, been getting lucky with my high rolls. Wanted it to continue every single time. Double five. Freaking thank you. Doesn't really matter, so I'm going to finish the enemy up. So I got 100 gold, doesn't matter. I already wrote it down. How, how long did that fight take? I'm already on the 28 minute mark and I'm not on the boss yet. That just comes to show that, it's that I'm recording this whole video and it's gonna be a really long one. So, I was right here. Now I'm going to the cutscene. Two. One, two. Now it doesn't matter what I roll. I'm going to be creative about it if I get a high roll. Two. One, two. The airship, the airship lands on a safe spot. And then Druko and his allies see a figure up ahead that is huge. And... Somehow they were shaking. Patrick says, You're... So you're trembling, right? You don't even know why. But I'll tell you why. It's because of the nightmare. The nightmare is up ahead. But you've already learned about going through your fears. So now is your chance to redeem yourself. I'm going in my shop. Game. I... So, come by. I'll help you out. I'll give you this free of charge. Everyone... Everyone heals up by full. That's my... That was my other decision. Of nowhere. So now... One. I'm still going to go this way. Would have done that before. One, two, three, four, five, six.
One, two, three, four, five. Almost there. Three. One, two, three. Now I just need a two or more, but not a six, which I got. Figures. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome to my shop. I knew you'd come after all. What would you like to buy? I'm going to buy a healing orb for a thousand gold. And I'm not going to put it in my items because it's a key item and, it, and I'm going to heal after this chapter is done. But everyone else has already healed up to their full health. Five, 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 five. All right. Now everyone's back to full health. Now I'm going to buy other things. And I'm going to buy... Two hyper potions and two hyper cores, and all of those are 900 G. So now I only have 130 G left, and now none of the gold matters. So I'm so I'm basically going to pay the rest of the 130 G for some. For something pretty silly, which is that I'm going to do a clause because it would be called the money clause, and I would but and I would get the I would get something for free because I got extra money. So first hyper potion. I'm going to get another hyper potion for free. Alright, so now how many items I have left are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I miscounted. I'm gonna count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And that's all the items I can get. The only exception is now the bosses will be dropping items. So now I won't have to worry about currency or experience, just item drops. So now the enemies have changed and they have a chance to drop certain certain items. And also with one roll of the die, if everyone's at half health, they can heal up all the way and you would have to bet on the number and roll that. Different for everyone but I'm pretty much doubting that this dice trial will be released in development and my fourth dice trial will be because my fourth dice trial is actually going to make sense. So I am going to continue What the heck? Why am I rolling two dice? That's a dice doubler method. One, two, three, four, five, six. I rolled a six instead. Not cheating. That's pretty much what landed first. Five. I made it to the boss. One, two, three, four, five. 